It's 60 years of the LEGO brick pattern, and we know LEGO is celebrating with a line of boring boxes of random bricks that are basically the classic line, a special LEGO minifigure series that leaked yesterday. It's a leak, so I'm not covering it for now, but it actually looks pretty bad. And then out of nowhere, this Forbes article comes out revealing more 60th anniversary sets. We know you probably wanted reprints of desirable classics like Pizza To Go or The Black Monarch's Castle, but instead we get remakes of this classic set I never really paid attention to before, but now it's red. So is it a remake? <sighs> the worst part, this is going to be 20 bucks at Walmart. 60 floor bland common pieces for 20 bucks. They're banking on this being a collector's item, so it does have beautiful retro packaging. There's another one, a windmill, which isn't even a remake. I mean, this guy on Brickset thinks it's a remake of this set, but they're pretty different. And it's 45 pieces for 20 bucks. Why? So look, I was excited to see what would come with the 60th anniversary of LEGO, but all we've gotten are overpriced and not so exciting sets that pay tribute to the early years of LEGO Brick. Like, at least with the 50th anniversary, we got the amazing town plan set. I think this whole thing would be fixed if they just decide to make some minifigure scale 60th anniversary sets. It would be so much cooler to get Yellow Castle, the Monorail, or the Galaxy Explorer reprinted in something like the LEGO Legends line, where they reprinted classic sets not frickin' miniature versions of them, where you're taking something meant for minifigures and eliminating many impressive techniques. Like at least 50 years on track was a special scale that allowed unique techniques to flourish. That set was only given to employees. Oh, and I'm not even kidding with this. LEGO is releasing this classic set in the United States that has been out in Europe. The only difference is the packaging that makes it seem like it's a 60th anniversary set that has nothing to do with the 60th anniversary. Look, am I being whiny and negative? I mean, the regular sets this year are awesome, like the Diner and Wayne Manor. I just wish the sets celebrating the most important part of LEGO, the LEGO brick, could be on this caliber. Anyways, what do you guys think? I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.